for the international order that we have worked for generations to build. Ordinary men and women are too small-minded to govern their own affairs. Ordinary men and women are too small-minded, are too small-minded to govern their own affairs. That order and progress can only come when individuals surrender their rights to an all-powerful sovereign. Here's Walmart here. I gotta do this quick before security catches me out here. So there's the Walmart, right? So we're back over here in this kind of an empty field. And you'll see how it's kind of looks like there would be what looks like a huge tunnel. See this field, how it's been down? I really don't want to get caught here by security. But if you look, it's just weird how it extends to this land over here. like. Looks like something was dug out. Just filled it back over with dirt at one point. So, are there tunnels under Walmart? Absolutely. The red arrows actually follow along the path where I believe would be the tunnel and where I was at shooting video earlier. You can see the parking lot looks to have new asphalt extended right over the top of what looks to be the tunnel. Just recently, black fence has popped up on the other side of the train. You can see these sort of train cars or storage units, but they look like, I don't know, like train tops, if you ask me. Looks like a mobile command. Jeez Louise, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Center. Over here on the left, I just saw the biggest helicopter I have ever seen. I have never seen so many Walmart trucks in one spot. Looking over here at this uh, closed Walmart at Pico Rivera, California, that looks like uh, porta potties. I'm gonna look inside and see what they look like. Look like FEMA trailer porta potties, Mission Valley Sanitation. Uh, reminds me of stuff I saw in Iraq. Yeah. FEMA style stuff. Over here you see what uh, appears to be uh, NASA on one of their bins. Maybe that's a garbage company or something, but that's pretty strange looking. All the uh, outside is closed off. You can't see inside. I walked up to the front and it's all uh, black trash bagged, blacked out. There's some of the, uh, obviously a security camera right there. They're keeping watch on their store, their permanently closed store. This is Walmart Pico Rivera, just want you to see. You can see in there, completely empty. Completely empty in there. Those are the cash registers and nothing behind there. Absolutely empty. I don't know what's going on in there, but it's completely empty. That whole place is empty. Hello, I make this video not a happy man. I'm at the neighborhood Walmart in San Jose, California. And this is what it has become. I did not want to believe it, but it's happening. Does this look like your friendly neighborhood Walmart to you? No. Anyone who knows anything about jail or anything about that knows what this is. That is a holding area. Oh, I'm not allowed to go past this line actually because the security guard told me if I do, it links up to the San Jose Police Department and they will come here and arrest me. That's kind of weird for a, a Walmart that's not in use anymore. So let's go take a look at what they did to this neighborhood Walmart. And the way it's set up to is perfect. 
Look at they got a security. Why would you have a security camera right here? Why is this needed? What what? This obviously looks like some sort of an entrance that they're gonna have. You coming in in and out of. I mean, come on. Oh god, just come on. Look at this. So as you see, this is the parking lot. This is where I'm gonna be busting you in. It's right off the 101. Hello, YouTube community. I'd like to show you this. I found that it has a license plate for for Arkansas. And it, as you can see, this is a Walmart disaster response team. This pretty much confirms that this is gonna be a FEMA camp. Hi, I'm Janet Napolitano, Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. Homeland Security begins with hometown security. That's why I'm pleased that Walmart is helping to make our communities more safe and secure. If you see something suspicious in the parking lot or in the store, say something immediately. Report suspicious activity to your local police or sheriff. If you need help, ask a Walmart manager Walmart has struck a deal with the U.S. government, hiring 130,000 reserve, active duty, and veterans in the United States over the past three years. A massive force of highly trained and skilled soldiers. It's an odd fact, because recently they just fired thousands of regular workers and closed 269 stores because of financial problems. Reporting from the Springdale Walmart or the closed down Walmart in Ohio. I want people to notice I'm on the back side of the compound and this wire runs a lot farther than just the old Walmart. It wraps all the way up around David's Bridal. That part, that uh, peak right there coming up right in the center in the front of the building, that's David's Bridal. It wraps all the way down and around all this as you can see, it goes over to the other building and all the way down the building. Now, down here to the right, out of frame, hiding in the bushes, is a cop. Skin the color of a bark. Close smelling like trees. Sticking my fur from my roots. So it's much more than it's right back in the arm. No scar, but I left my mark. My friend got clean, but no deed. Life is just that dark. Close smelling like trees. Sticking my fur from my roots. So it's much more than it's right back in the arm. No scar, but I left my mark. My friend got clean, but no deed. Life is just that dark. But life is just that bright. But when the sunset shines, I've seen the crafty price. I'm back tonight. I'm going back to life. In honor of the past, I write. I'm wide over with no glass of wine. Stuck in a barrel, I'll get better with time. Well, you measure how the pleasure declines. So stack and cheddar while the blood just rise. With my eyes and my ears blue, here on my grind. Cuddy. Creeping on the combine. Right back in the arm, no scar, but I left my mark. My friend got clean, then no deed. 